What is up guys? Welcome back to a late adventure. We're heading into Dollywood about the last hour of park operation. We're just gonna take a little lap around. We're gonna head up. We're gonna go check out Snow in the Grove because rumor has it they have all the snow machines working again. So we're gonna see how that's improved. And then just take a little basic lap around the park here and show off some of the Christmas lights. So if you guys are ready, let's go. So in the park, we're gonna loop around up to the left here. I'll probably just do more recording, show off all the uh, Christmas lights and all that good stuff. We'll head up here, check out Snow in the Grove, and then continue the loop around the park and head out. Making our way over here to the Snow in the Grove area. So apparently there were so many odd snow machines down, like 37 or something of them were not working the other night. So we're gonna come over here, we're about 10 minutes away from the show kicking off, so we're gonna catch it for the last go around of the night and check out and see how much different it is than it was opening night. As we make our way around here, new character or I guess it was an old character for the first time I've ever seen it but this is Rolly one of the new Christmas time characters See, they definitely do have more snow going this time around, so that's a big plus. They got big chunks of it over here. Well, we definitely got a lot more snow in there. Still missing a few little places. This side of the grove kind of gets forgotten about, but next to the wild grove tree, and especially over by the entrance, it sees a lot of the snow, but if you're in this little back section here, kind of missing it a little bit still. With about 20 minutes left in the park here, instead of making a right, we're gonna go straight here. We're gonna make our way up and around the rest of the park here to get some more pictures.
made of snow. I'll build an entire day of snow. So as we work our way through the glacial ridge area, you'll see it's just a lot of blue and white lights, and they're kind of scarce this year. Got this one tree here. Nothing else really around it. A couple little small trees across the walkway. So I just could be jaded to the fact that I've been here so much, but if you've been here at the Christmas time, leave a comment down below. If you think they've kind of went a little skimpy on the lights this go around. I feel like in the past, I had a lot more things decorated, even on the sides of the walkways, not just the major uh, structures. And even that, I mean, there's really not even much going on here. Kind of bums me out because I love, love, love coming here to see all the Christmas lights. Big candy cane, though. Any of you guys good at playing this game? Get some good prizes from it, but uh, that is not an easy game to win by any means. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the front of the park now. We got about eight minutes before park is officially closed, and it'll probably take us all of that to get down to the front of the park from here. We're all the way up next to the Blazing Fury. So if you end up getting through that little walkway at a certain time, they'll let you continue to go around, and you can see on this side of the park, there is really not many people. Get you a chance to kind of just uh, check out the lights, enjoy the atmosphere, and Maybe get a few of those last minute pictures that you weren't able to get earlier on in the day because there were too many people around. Chapel looks beautiful here at night. Have you guys ever done the Sunday church service here? I've always been curious about that, but for the last, can't even count, I've always worked on Sunday, so never had the opportunity to come up here during that hour. So maybe one of these days we'll have to request a day off and just come check out and see what that service is like. Right up here on the little pond though is a little tree installation that we have not yet got to check out that we're gonna stop here and admire for a minute. And remember, we should all drink more, learn more, care more, and be more.
We're gonna pass through. We're gonna go check out the Dolly Experience on our way out. I like these different colored trees right here, though. This is the newest Christmas tree they've installed here this year. All in pink. Looks really good, though. Santa was just up there. He just walked back inside, so he doesn't stay forever after close. So the time it is. 9-12, so about 10 minutes or so after park close, he'll go ahead and step back inside. So you have a few minutes after the uh, nine o'clock, but not long. All right, guys, so short and sweet. Just wanted to pop into the park here and get another look at some of the wonderful Christmas lights. Also, we needed to catch a second view of the snow in the grove. There were rumors that they had fixed a bunch of the snow machines because on opening night it was very lackluster and yes, they did end up fixing it. Still a few areas set there in the grove that could use a little bit more snow, but compared to what it was opening night, tenfold better. Now we do have to pop back in the park a few more times. We've got to grab a tasting pass and a few food options that I would love to try. A couple shows we need to watch and there's a lot of merch that we have yet to go check out so maybe next visit we'll come in here and check a lot of the merch out but by the time you guys see this video probably the day that you watch this we're gonna be heading down to the walkway there next to the island we're gonna check out those Christmas lights and then we'll come back to the park probably on Friday before work and check out some more of the Christmas stuff so as always, make sure you guys are hitting that like, subscribe button, follow along on all the adventures, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.